Hampshire School of Photography here. My name's Kevin Aronson and this is video number two. Whoa, we've gone to number two. Well, we're looking at crop frame cameras because a couple of people asked me by email what a crop frame camera was after the first tutorial. Remember this? 35 millimeter film. When, um, when camera manufacturers first went to digital, they really wanted to emulate 35 millimeter film, which they were replacing. And so they tried to make sensors in the cameras which were as big as the area of a 35 millimeter negative. Now, they're quite expensive to produce that large. And um, so consequently, manufacturers figured out that if they make them slightly smaller, I'll show you in a second, they can make them cheaper. And so a lot of digital cameras came onto the market with smaller sensors. They were cropped in size from the original 35 millimeter negative. So if you've spent a lot of money on your camera, maybe 1600 pounds up with something like that, you've probably got a full frame camera where the sensor is the same size as a 35 millimeter negative. But if you've not got a full frame camera, you've got a crop frame camera and the sensor's smaller. Let me try and explain with some pictures. Here's a picture of two cameras. The one on the left is a full frame camera and the one on the right is cropped. Look at the size of the sensor on the one on the left, it's massive. Conversely, the one on the right is really quite tiny in comparison. Look at it this way. See the large amount of area that is captured by the full frame sensor. It captures right across the lens aperture. But the smaller crop framed area inside only captures the center of the picture giving the impression that it's actually zoomed in closer. In the 35mm environment, you can see just how much of the image would have been captured with a full frame camera. But if we overlay what you would have got with a crop frame camera, you only get the middle part. And when you look through the viewfinder of a crop frame camera, you see that. It looks closer. That's what you get with a full frame. That's what you get with a crop frame. And crop frame cameras have that lovely ability to magnify the image or appear to magnify the image because they're only actually taking the center out of the photograph. So that's what you get in a cropped frame camera. Now this has implications because obviously the crop frame camera is going to magnify every image you take so that when you buy a lens, the effect of those lenses is going to change. Look at this chart. On the left are the real focal lengths of the lenses. On the right are the artificial focal lengths which have been created by the crop on the camera. So if you take a 100mm lens and you put it on a crop frame camera, it feels like it's 150mm because of that extra magnification. If you put a standard 50mm lens on, it appears like 75 And if you put a wide angle lens on, then it doesn't feel like as wide as it should be. That wide 24 millimeter now feels like 36 millimeter. So if you have a crop frame camera and you want a super wide lens, you've got to buy a super, super wide one to allow for that extra magnification factor. I hope you found that interesting and I hope it's clarified what the whole issue with crop frame cameras is all about. So if you've got one, you know what happens with your lenses from now on. Thanks for listening, and if you've got any more questions, email them through to info at hampshirephotoschool.com or send me a Facebook private message. Thanks again. See you next time. Ta-da.